Visible's new Visible Plus plan now includes 50 gigabytes of premium data, so you can get the same experience as you would as a Verizon postpaid customer. Or can you? Visible's premium data prompts a lot of questions like, how fast are the hotspot speeds? Are you still capped at 5 or 10 megabits per second? Are the speeds really the same? And is the priority the same as Verizon postpaid? Or is it different? And what happens when you're using premium data on 5G ultra wideband? Does it still count against your 50 gigabyte allotment? Or is the 50 gigabytes only when you're connected to LTE? And does the hotspot usage count against the premium data allotment? Well, in this video, we're going to answer all of the questions about premium data on Visible. First, the most important question, is it real premium data? Is it the same as Verizon Postpaid? I have Verizon 5G Play More on the left, Visible on the right. Let's jump into the speed test application and see what kind of speeds and performance we get on both of the plans. Starting off with Verizon 5G Play More, we're getting insanely fast speeds here over 700, almost 800 megabits per second down on 5G ultra wideband here in Longmont, Colorado. This is using 100 megahertz of band N77. I'm impressed with what Verizon is able to do. We got 870 megabits per second down and 53.2 megabits per second up, which you can hear, I'll bend over. Wow, this is miserable for filming. Now let's run the same speed test on Visible just to see what we get. This is the Visible Plus plan. You're missing the ultra wideband icon in the top right status bar, but as you can tell from the speeds, we are indeed connected to 5G ultra wideband. Something you'll notice is the speeds are definitely slower. We're getting about 440 megabits per second down. Both of these are iPhone 13 Pros, so they have the same cellular modem inside of them. I would expect similar performance. Visible Plus got 441 megabits per second down and 64.6 megabits per second up. Ping was 29 milliseconds on Visible compared to just 16 milliseconds on Verizon Postpaid. All right, now let's do a real test here where we're running the speed tests at the same time. Running a speed test at the same time in this scenario sort of adds congestion or artificial congestion to the network, and we can see how the plans perform. In this instance, it does appear they're splitting the available bandwidth. So let's say 800 megabits per second was the maximum bandwidth. It looks like Visible got about, or Visible Plus got about half of that, and it looks like Verizon got about half of that, but when Visible finished the speed test, Verizon had the remaining capacity and could pull ahead in terms of the final speeds. So it does seem like Visible is getting very similar priority to Verizon. I'm going to run another test here just to confirm. Both launch ahead to 300, 400. Looks like Visible, 400, uh, Verizon, they're both neck and neck. In my mind, I would consider these, well, actually, it looks like Visible 400 versus 485, 500. It almost does look like... Verizon 5G Play More is getting slightly better performance. I'm not 100% sure what the reason would be, but again, very, very similar to Visible Plus. Here are the final results. Verizon finished getting 584 down, 44.6 up. Visible 401 down, 46 up. Uh, ping both 15 milliseconds, great performance on both. I'll do one more test here and we'll look at the side-by-side -side while the tests are running. And side-by-side -side here, again, it looks like they're splitting the bandwidth pretty evenly. 350 to 450. I don't know. Verizon is still getting faster speeds pretty consistently. Not 100% sure the reason, but it's like 400 megabits per second versus 500. That's that's kind of what we were seeing towards the end there. Again, great performance on both, but for whatever reason, I am getting slightly faster speeds on 5G Play More compared to Visible Plus. Now let's run the same side-by-side -side test on LTE to see if we continue to get a difference between the two plans. LTE performance is outstanding in this area. It looks like both plans are performing very similarly. In this case, Visible Plus is actually getting faster speeds, 170 megabits per second compared to 124, 125 on Verizon. And here are the final results. To me, it definitely looked like Visible Plus had the same or similar priority level to 5G Play More. Let's run the test again. And again, side by side, both are getting great speeds. Visible Plus actually getting faster speeds than Verizon 5G Play More. I wonder if the connection is different between the phones. Uh, either way, the fact that Visible Plus is getting faster speeds during a simultaneous test with a 5G Play More plan 
to me indicates it definitely does have premium data. And as this second set of tests finishes out, we got 105 megabits per second down and 7.18 megabits per second up on 5G Playmore compared to 156 megabits per second down and 18.3 megabits per second up on Visible Plus. To further confirm the priority level, I now have a 5G start plan on the left, which is always deprioritized compared to Visible Plus on the right, both getting great speeds and you can see 5G start immediately deprioritized. As Visible Plus gets over 200 megabits per second, 5G start gets just 10 megabits per second on the Verizon network. That is astonishing. I didn't realize being deprioritized would be that bad. That is a 20x difference, 20 times difference in speeds and performance going from a deprioritized plan to one with premium data. Unreal, absolutely wild. Here the results are 13 megabits per second down and seven up on 5G start, 247 down and 4.42 up on Visible Plus. Let's just do one more test uh, just to see if we get any different results here. And again, Visible Plus absolutely launches ahead and 5G start absolutely eats dirt, getting super slow speeds. Oh, as Visible Plus finishes up, 5G start is extra capacity and can launch ahead. But wow, it was getting like 20 megabits per second to Visible Plus's 236 megabits per second. Yes, Visible Plus confirmed definitely has premium data on the Verizon network. Uh, I do think it is the same level as Verizon Postpaid, so 5G get more, play more, and do more. I think the speed differences you saw here today could be due to different factors in the environment uh, and other things that are out of my control. I think there always will be some differences and they could go one way or the other. But there you go. Yes, Visible Plus does have premium data. Next question, what kind of hotspot speeds do you get on Visible Plus? I turned off cellular data on the phone on the left and I have it connected to Visible Plus via hotspot on the right. And let's find out. This is over LTE and on the website, Visible says that the hotspot speeds are capped at five megabits per second. Running a speed test here, you did see it launch ahead to around 35 megabits per second, and then it did come crawling right back down to that 5 megabit per second speed cap. So that's for the download. Upload, I don't know if it is capped, um, but it looks like it is, and it actually looks like it might be slower. So we're only getting around 2 megabits per second for the upload, which is a little bit slower than the 5. Oh, it's climbing up 3, 4. I think it should be symmetrical. So we got 5.14 down and 4.39 up on Visible Plus over LTE. Let's run one more test and see what we get. And for the second test, we got 5.29 down and 4.41 up. So it does look like it should be a symmetrical 5 megabit per second speed cap on both the download and upload speeds. The next question, what are hotspot speeds like on 5G? As you can tell, I've connected back to the 5G network on Visible Plus. I'm going to cancel this test and run another hotspot test. Will we get faster speeds on 5G ultra wideband? Looks like again, the speeds launched up to 30 megabits per second and then came crawling back down to that five megabit per second speed cap. So unfortunately with Visible Plus, you still continue to get truly unlimited hotspot data, but hotspot speeds continue to be capped at five to 10 megabits per second on both LTE and 5G. All right, the next question is does the hotspot data usage count against the 50 gigabytes of premium data? Now this is really challenging to answer because the Visible app doesn't tell us how much premium data we've actually used. In fact, it hardly tells us anything. It just tells us our bill, uh, what our payment method is, and it gives us information about the referral program. That's it. The My Service section just gives us the option to cancel service. Nothing tells us how much premium data we've used or have left. Furthermore, because the Visible website says that 5G ultra wideband data is always unlimited premium data, we don't know if using 5G ultra wideband actually counts against the 50 gig allotment or if the 50 gig allotment is only used when connected to LTE. So I'm not going to do the hotspot test because quite frankly, trying to use 50 gigs of data at five megabits per second would put me here all day. 23 hours, 51 minutes, and 39 seconds. I just don't have time for that, I'm sorry. 
So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay connected to 5G Ultra Wideband, and I'm going to download 50 gigabytes of data. After I've used 50 gigabytes of data, which should take way less time, I'll then do a side-by-side -side speed test to see if Visible Plus still has premium data on LTE. It's been an hour, probably over an hour, and I have now used over 50 gigabytes of data on Visible Plus. In fact, if I go to my settings, you can see it says I've used 74.3 gigabytes of data, and all of that data was on Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband Network, which gives me unlimited premium data. So the question, does Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband usage count against the 50 gigabyte limit? Let's find out. I have Verizon 5G Play More on the left, Visible Plus on the right. We are on LTE, and assuming the 50 gigabytes did not count, both plans will get the same speeds. If it did count, Visible Plus will now be deprioritized. Let's find out the moment of truth here on the Stetson Doggett channel. And it does look like Visible is being pretty heavily deprioritized right now. So there is your answer. Usage on 5G Ultra Wideband does count against your 50 gig premium allotment. Unfortunately, I mean, that is such a drastic difference between having premium data with 5G Play More on the left and being deprioritized with Visible on the right. I am still so shocked at that difference. But there you go, both tests have finished up. Verizon 5G Play More, 203 down, 8.28 up. Visible, 27.4 down, 9.25 up. Now the big question, what if we run these tests on 5G? Will Visible's premium data kick in? Because apparently the plan gets unlimited premium data on ultra wideband. Let's find out. I've switched both phones over to 5G. Let's run another test side by side here to see what kind of speeds and performance we get. Now, Verizon 5G Playmore doesn't have the 5G ultra wideband icon yet, but it looks like they both do. They're connected. Ooh, looks like Visible Plus is getting very deprioritized. Look at that, 73 megabits per second versus 650 megabits per second on 5G ultra wideband. Makes me wonder if Visible was not connected to 5G ultra wideband at all for this test. So I will be running a second test. I'll probably airplane mode it and then run a second test. Here are the results of the first test. 700 down, 39.4 up on 5G Play More, 79.4 down, and 45.9 up on Visible Plus. I'm gonna airplane mode it and then restart the tests. Okay, both phones were airplane moded and connected to the network again. Let's run test number two. Great pings on both, looks like both are on. Oh, wow, look at that. I observed this before. I don't know if this is a Verizon network behavior or what, but it looks like the 5G Play More plan like kicked Visible Plus off of the 5G ultra wideband connection. So yeah, it looks like Visible Plus definitely deprioritized. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually stop this test and just test Visible Plus by itself. Make sure it is connected to 5G ultra wideband. Looks like, yep, absolutely is. Now, if we start the Verizon 5G Play More test, we get rid of the battery. Boom. Visible plus, I mean, the speeds, 300 versus 600 megabits per second. It's deprioritized. I think the website is mistaken. It definitely looks like when you use over 50 gigabytes of premium data on Visible Plus, your speeds will be deprioritized on both LTE and 5G ultra wideband. Uh, truth be told, I don't think you're gonna notice the difference in real world use between 325 and 709 megabits per second for your Instagram, your Snapchat, your TikTok, your YouTube. Both are gonna be fine. And let's actually round this video out by doing a video streaming speed test just to show you what kind of video streaming speeds you can get on Visible Plus. And I'm happy to report when you're connected to 5G ultra wideband. Oh, that's actually not good. I did this test earlier and I got um, uncapped speeds. Let's see what Verizon gives us. So Verizon, Verizon typically caps at four megabits per second. Looks like it's getting 6.2, 4.5. There's the four. Whoa, both are getting capped. That's weird. Editor Stetson here. It turns out I had maximum video streaming quality toggled off on my Verizon plan. That's why it wasn't getting the full 4K video streaming speeds. I now have that feature turned on, and as you can tell, I'm getting full 4K video streaming quality. 
My visible plus line, unfortunately, I have no idea what's up. It's still getting capped at two megabits per second, even on 5G ultra wideband. I even tried resetting my network settings. Thankfully, we have community member EM Tech to the rescue. He did a full comparison of Visible Plus versus 5G Get More, and here are the results. Okay, you can see Visible Plus got full 4K streaming on Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband on millimeter wave. It got 950 megabits per second down. Verizon 5G Get More on millimeter wave got pretty much exactly the same results. So 4K streaming on both. On 5G Ultra Wideband, Using C-band spectrum, which is band N77, Visible got 450 megabits per second on Fast.com, indicating yes, it continues to get 4K video streaming. This is exactly what I observed before, and it's exactly the same as what you get with Verizon 5G Get More. Again, I don't know what's up with the 2 megabit per second cap I'm currently getting, but 4K streaming is available on Visible Plus on 5G Ultra Wideband. When you're off 5G Ultra Wideband on LTE, then yes, you are still getting capped at 1.8 to 2 megabits per second. That's it for this video. Click the like button if you found it helpful and make sure to share it with a friend who's either on Verizon or on Visible and curious to learn more. My name is Stetson and my goal is to help as many people as possible save money on their cell phone bill. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.